So hi everyone, Craig Hanson and yes, welcome to my video, the modern day ball strikers. These guys are absolutely smashing it, staggering moves. Uh, some of the old golf teachers must be turning in their graves as we look at some of the components and characteristics to match up to the modern day golf swings. I'm going to show you a couple of things in this video that you've never seen before. When we're looking at the moves, uh, we understand uh, there are different groups of swings. There's not every swing is different. And when we're looking at closed club faces and head dropping and shoulder tilts and planes and how fast they're moving their hips but still not coming out of the shot, it's an important part of the game to realize what's actually happening. It's not all the same as it used to be. There is more than one way to swing a golf club. But you have to know what you're doing. Now let's get in there and have a look at Justin Thomas. Now how is this guy going? He's recently done that biomechanic test and hit 17 golf balls in a row at a smash factor at 1.52 for each shot. I mean, it doesn't even go that high. Now, this guy is uh, definitely one of the best ball strikers in the world and arguably the best hand-eye coordination, you would have to say, in the world or in the top few. And uh, leading at the moment the stats with from T to green. Pretty incredible stuff. All right, now let's get in there and have a look at the motion. I'm not going to get into plane and all that sort of thing in this video. And uh, We've got a couple of camera angles here that are not 100% correct, but... Uh, just getting in there and having a look at the motion. Look at this great little feel here for you guys, getting that right hip to deepen and that head to lower. If you just use a little bit of a drill like that, you'll feel a bit of a pressure into that right foot, something that he talks about actually on one of, one of the videos there. And you can see the head moving downwards. Now important to notice is this shoulder tilt and the head. Right? These guys have picked up their hip speed a lot. So they're throwing the suitcase at it, right? but they're not coming out of it. Now, they're not being pulled off the shot. Now look at this shoulder plane here already with a, with a three wet at 40 degrees. Now the two average with an, iron, with an iron shot around your five is six is 39 to 45. You've got to look at the averages of movement. This is what we show on world-class golf instruction. Improving your pivot, right? Improving your pivot will improve your downswing. If you keep the left shoulder down, the right shoulder comes down and underneath. If your left shoulder is high on the way back and you're up around 20 degrees, 25, I'm just, you know, helping so many people out there, all the people that come in for lessons, they're, they're just pivoting poorly. As soon as you fix the pivot, the downswing fixes itself. You know, so this is the area that you've got to, you've got to look. If you're looking at the averages of the pivot with the tour pros, and they're all about the same, you should be looking at getting at least closer to that. World Class Golf Instruction has over 700 detailed videos for every golfer. Practice programs and evidence-based material is applied to helping you to become your own coach and play your best golf. Join us in the chat room and join the community of world-class golf instruction. Let's have a look. Top of the swing here and a high left arm position using every ounce of his uh, body weight. He's not a big guy, he's not a heavy guy, but obviously with the, a huge uh, amount of speed and the leverage, he has a high swing to increase his speed. Now the hips back, but this is where that gets interesting. Look at this right leg hammer. Right now, and that's just massive. Back in the day, you, you, that would be taught out of somebody. But have a look at this move, that right leg kicking, the head continues just down to drop here, gloves splitting through the forearm and around about impact. You've got about 70, 75 degrees open those hips, haven't you? This right leg's gonna be pulled back now, head's dropping, keeps him in the shot. And this is that right leg snapping back and head coming through. So. He's lifting up that left heel, and this is how he gets his power. He hits his driver about 4.85 degrees on the way up, and uh, he gets that left hip through the shot. So that to lift up, and he gets that late snap, and uh, have a look at that head dropping and coming out on the side. So, so many of these guys getting really, really steep shoulder planes uh, down to where the T pointed through the shot. Now, it might hurt your back. You know, that's what they're saying, a lot of people, obviously. But by the time he's hurt his back, you know, you're not playing golf to become a senior pro champion, are you? You're looking to win majors and uh, he's probably going to have a few hundred million dollars and sit on the beach for the pina colada by the time he's hurt his back. So, guys, let's have a look at Hovland here. Stronger club face position, bowed left wrist. Um, we see the head dropping, moving down. See the right leg now hammering and uh, using the ground as leverage to average head movement two to four inches down we know that but this one's uh, moving down a little bit more than that check out this move of what many say the next number one player uh, in the world uh, hitting it with a bent right arm head, head continues to drop almost like getting so far down 
is able to uh, block the hook with a, a shoulder plane like that and keep the club face from rolling over and that's a pretty incredible position when you think about it but there's a lot of guys doing it right so it's it's an actual it's a style of swing and you're looking at some of the best players in the world aren't they it's almost it seems to be that this type of style now with this uh, bowed left hand and this head movement down is is almost arguably more effective and they're hitting it better than a lot of the other guys look at this wrist position here from dustin johnson now this guy just absolutely flashes it how is this man's body have a look at it where you can point this elbow in and keep a triangle inside the body with a shoulder playing with the driver that i mean this guy is absolutely phenomenal i mean he's shoulder playing with the driver it's pointing down at 44 degrees and he'll just continue to drop the head let's get rid of those lines watch this for a move people as he moves down and as he gets into here the head's moved down look at those wrists it almost looks like some sort of prey mantis or alien from there um, so no there's no disrespect the guy's a is an unbelievable player but uh, yeah just turning that club into a battering ram isn't it and uh, just no face rotation but once again the, the the flexibility in the body look at those hips they're almost round to 90 degrees but he's moved himself so far down he's not pulled off the shot so if you're gonna if you stand up tall and move your hips like that you feel like you you pulled off the shot so for anyone out there trying to coaches saying look if you're a young player and, you, and you've got your hips and they're moving so fast and so instead, of, instead of perhaps trying to slow them down, try to sink your head slightly down so that you've got room for your elbow to pass and you're hitting it with a bent right arm. And have a look at some, where some of these guys are. You know, they're, they're, they're not dissimilar. This is actually a style, people. Head down and, uh, and then you can hammer your hips and uh, you can close the club face up, you can keep it neutral. And we're just seeing so many players. I mean, John Ram, he's uh, what a great player this guy is and definitely one of the best ball strikers in the world. But you're seeing something a hybrid something a little bit more in the middle not as extreme but you're still going to be seeing head obviously moving downwards i mean why isn't this being taught there's still coaches out there telling people to you know keep their don't drop your head it's just ridiculous and you can see that the left wrist also bowed up the top you know you've got what do we got we've got 60 million golfers and 40 million slicing it because you've got to get on a world-class golf instruction we've got so much stuff in there to help you guys out Check it out, bent right arm, look at that hip movement, look at those legs, that's John Ram. This guy is going to dominate golf for a long, long time. We did see this swing, you know, back in the day. Here is Lee Trevino, but uh, it is really interesting looking at numbers and looking at averages of movement. And we can see Trevino just a little bit of a bowed left hand up the top. And we'll see that head moving down and also getting that V style hip work bent right arm and uh an amazing golfer one of the best ever there's your shoulder plane guys it is a definitely a style and uh if you know what components to match up if you're not swinging like that then there's other components that will match up to your swing but so rather than jumping from video to video join the community on world class golf instruction or check out my online lessons craighansengolf.com and we'll get you on the right track to playing your best golf all right thanks for watching and we will see you next time